When it comes to women's basketball, we like to keep it 100. And so do these Minnesota athletes who earned a spot in the 2021 ESPNW 100 rankings. the rim, not anymore. High, low, Jenna Johnson, that's easy money. That's what Wyzetta does so well. There's Lydia Hay feeding it inside to Jenna Johnson. I tell you what. And once again, the shooting drought continuing to plague the ponies. Jenna Johnson scores in transition. Not sure if he took exception to that or not. And one for Jenna Johnson. A steady hand for Wyzetta. High low, Jenna Johnson breaks free again. Unfortunate for Stowater. Couldn't get the sub in in time. Another foul, count it for Jenna Johnson. Left her alone, and Alexis Pratt couldn't do anything there. Five starters have now gotten on the board. Coley for three. There she goes. Really see the growth, the development between last year and this year with that group of players out on the floor. Kendall Coley. And she gets one to go. And analytics will tell you that is the worst shot you can take. Good pass ahead by Kendall Coley. Bench points for the skippers. Kendall Coley, she's gonna fire threes all day, isn't she? She's not gonna give up on that no matter what the situation is. Alexander with the dime and Kendall Coley, a rare mid-range jumper. And that's what doing that oftentimes leads to. And the Orioles finish the transition play. I can tell where you've been. Dahlia McKenzie drives and scores. Too easy. <laughs> McGill had that steal. Regulin puts a move on her defender. Can't bank it off the glass. McKenzie with the rebound to the putback. And McKenzie's averaging right around 19 rebounds a game. Have a buzzer beater on your resume. Park Center looking for the leak out. And they hook up with McKenzie. Great body mechanics. Conference showdown and I was mentioning this with my buddy Alex Nagel on Friday. Here's McKenzie. Look out, putting a couple of moves on defenders. And Adalia McKenzie posterizing her defense. Player personnel, you gotta know where your shooters are. You gotta know where McKenzie is. Well, Lauren Frost did. Yep. Lose track of the offense. But Park Center, they've turned up the pressure. McKenzie again. Oh my goodness. Wow. The bank wow. is open, and McKenzie knocking down wow. three and taking aim. Run the ball, they push the pace. 
Sophie Hart. For two. Down low. Struggling making shots right now. But if they start going down, that could be an opportunity. And one. Sophie Hart. It's hard to step back move. Oh, you Almost can't do another that. steal there, but you that leads to a three on two and another bucket for Hart. Hating defense. Mogensen, elbow J, looks short. They cannot box Hart out, and she makes it count again. Hart High running low. the floor again with the bucket, and that is what you do. Brad, one of her clients. And she's just displaying what, and she contends for again. the rebound, but there was no chance there. One of my favorite plays is the back door, and that's why. Missing everything and but getting the recovery. Oh my goodness. And it looks like Maya's all over Sophie down in that paint. Sophie's trying to seal her. There we go. That's a fun battle of the big. Sophie Hart will win that round. Yeah. Rebound Kinsep. Farmington can take their first lead. Hart will give it to them. The Big Ten. Three ball. Hard. Great hands. You said Farmington wants to get her more involved, or you'd like to see that, and there's Hart with the putback. Here is the full list of Minnesota athletes who made the top 100. And if you want to help us make long-lasting digital coverage of your favorite athlete, check us out on Patreon, PayPal, or Cash App. Thank you for watching.